Hiya, I'm Simon Moll and I am a poet. This video is all about redrafting or editing your writing. We're going to start with a game, uh, a quick quiz actually, about movie taglines. So, would you have heard this tagline? The force is calling to you, just let it in. In the trailer for Monsters Inc, Star Wars Episode 7, or Toy Story 2. A tagline is just a catchy sentence or two that tries to get you excited about a film. Would you have seen this tagline? He's smashing the game world wide open. On the poster for Aladdin, Wreck-It Ralph, or Kung Fu Panda. Um, so I think that the best taglines, as well as telling you how awesome the movie is, also hint at why, maybe what it's about, what kind of film it is. I see a tagline like a promise, and the movie has to come good on that promise. Our third and final one, everything is more awesome in space. Is that a tagline for Star Trek, Lego Movie? or Lego Movie 2. Cool, so we're gonna be using the idea of taglines today to help us redraft and edit some writing. In order to have the most fun with the video, you're gonna need a poem or a bit of writing that you've been working on. Something you like, which you would like to make as good as you possibly can. Maybe you haven't looked at it for a day or two, so you're coming back to it now with fresh eyes. So, I want you now to pause the video to get your poem ready, and then hit play when you are ready to start. Great. Your first job is to read the poem through to yourself or a friend, and then I'm going to leave a few questions up on the next pause screen and I would like you to note down a few quite quick answers to those. That's it. Pause the video to do that now and then hit play when you're ready to move on. Nice one. In a moment, you're going to use those answers to write a tagline, kind of like a movie tagline, but one for your poem. Please, though, if yours is, for example, about pizza, don't settle for the best pizza poem ever. Whilst I like pizza and I like poems, so I probably would check it out, there is a lot that that doesn't tell us. Is it funny? Is it scary? Is there a story? One girl's intergalactic quest for a pizza the size of a planet. Or maybe there's a, a message, slice to meet you, food brings friends together. Or maybe it's a perfectly persuasive poem, pushing pizza onto people's plates. Uh, you'll see that all three of those taglines do promise you a poem about pizza, but they're all going to be very different poems to each other. Uh, with the last one, a perfectly persuasive poem, pushing pizza onto people's plates. Um, you can hear there's a lot of alliteration in that tagline. But I think that hints the, the poem itself might have some alliteration or wordplay of some kind. So, if your poem rhymes, maybe you could try making your tagline rhyme too. The main thing though is to write a tagline about how incredible your poem is and it tells us a little bit about what it's about. Remember to use the notes that you made when answering those questions. If you're stuck at any point, you could try taking an important line from your poem and then adapting that to make your tagline from that. Pause the video now to write a tagline for your poem and then hit play when you're ready to move on. Great stuff. Now you've got your tagline, it's time to test it. And the only way that I know to do that is to say it aloud in the movie tagline voice. So pause the video to have a go at doing that and then hit play once you're ready to use that tagline to redraft your poem. Nice 
nice one. You've got your tagline, you've tested it. Now it is time to use it to edit and improve your poem. Uh, the first way we're going to do that is you're going to read over your poem again in a moment. Uh, but this time you're going to keep an eye out for lines, sentences or sections that don't connect with your tagline. Bits that don't fit with that promise that you've made about your poem. And if you find a few of those, you're going to cut them out. And then you're going to try reading your poem through again without those lines in it. Now, I know it's hard sometimes, so you might end up taking out a bit of writing, a really good bit of writing, in order to try and improve the poem as a whole. But go with it at this stage, and if in the end you want to go back to the original version of the poem, you can easily do that. So, pause the video to have a go at doing that now, and then hit play when you are ready to move on. Great work. As I said, I know it's hard sometimes to take stuff out. So, on the flip of that, which lines in your poem connect most with your tagline? Which lines deliver most on the promise you have made us about your poem? Would your poem be improved if you repeated those lines, either straight after or somewhere else in the poem? Would your poem be improved if you repeated it a few times with some slight variations? Uh, Slice to meet you, food brings friends together. Slice to meet you, we'll be friends forever. Pause the video now to have a go and then hit play when you're ready for our final task. Fantastic, last thing for today. Now that you understand a bit more clearly what your poem is trying to do, is there anything that you think is missing? Are you living up to the promise of your tagline? Or could you add something that would make the heart of your poem clearer or stronger or funnier or more mysterious or whatever it is that you want it to be? Uh, you could have a go at actually trying to write some new bits now or you could just note down a few ideas of what you might add in the future. So, pause the video to have a go at that and then hit play when you're done. Nice one. It's easy to imagine uh, that the poems which you read in books or see performed on stage by real proper poets um, only ever existed uh, in that perfect, finished form. But 99% of the time, that's not true. It's just that most of us don't get to see the countless different rough drafts, variations, crossed out bits, scrunched up paper that had to happen in order for the poem to be finished. Uh, usually the best poems are the ones that people have put the most effort into the editing and redrafting of. Um, I hope you've seen also today that redrafting your poem can be good fun. Uh, and that just a few small changes here and there can make a big difference to how your poem turns out in the end. Um, if you'd like to carry on redrafting now, I've got a whole series of videos which talk about different techniques like uh, descriptive detail or rhyme, and you can find the links to those in the description. Um, if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, you can do that here. Uh, thanks so much for watching.